Welcome guys! Today, we will be talking about everything you need to know on Platinum End before it starts airing. And let's go! Platinum is a dark psychological thriller manga series written and drawn by Takeshi Obata and Tushimi Ohoba, the creators of the famous and well-renowned manga and anime series, Death Note. The manga currently released its 14th volume. The anime adaptation is set to air in fall 2021, more specifically, it's scheduled to premiere in October this year. It will be directed for Signal MD by Hidea Takahashi, Jojo's Bizarre Adventure Golden Wind, Shinichi Inotsume will act as a series writer, Kusanagi will handle the art. Masanori Ikeda will be the director for CGI, and Takatoshi Hiyamano will be the sound director for the new anime series. Koji Odate will also serve as a character designer. They also released the key visuals of the series from their official Twitter account, as well as a short teaser by the staff. The plot follows Mirai Kakehashi, a young teenager who was left to his abusive relatives after his parents passed away. He has since become gloomy and depressed, leading him to attempt suicide on the night of his graduation from middle school. However, Mirai is rescued by a pure white girl called Nase, who, by giving him divine abilities and a chance to become the new god, reveals herself as a guardian angel wishing to give him happiness. He must beat 12 other god candidates within 999 days in order to win the position. Soon, when a terrible battle royale erupts between him, himself, and the candidates looking to gain the most power in the world, Mirai begins a struggle to survive and become god himself. By looking at the manga, it has two main characters, Mirai Kakehashi, the main protagonist, Nase, the angel that chose Mirai. There are also several characters that are given focus in the story, such as Nanato Mukaido and Saki Hanakago, who are also god candidates. There are a total of 13 angels each, with their different titles. There are also a total of 13 god candidates, chosen by the 13 angels. The series has a dark plot revolving around the psychological and supernatural aspects of the series' world. It has a battle royale setting where those who fight each other to become god are being consumed by their inner devils. As the main protagonist of Platinum End, Mirai has no interest in being god, but he wants to stop Metropolitan to protect himself and Saki, another god candidate he falls for, and he doesn't believe that god should become someone who has no problem killing others. He says that, shouldn't he rise to become god, he will do nothing. Though we all doubt that the series will end on a good note. Then there is Nase. She's an angel of a special rank. She is one of 13 angels, and Mirai Kakehashi has been chosen as her god candidate. She wants to help Mirai find happiness, and she is known for her innocence and purity. She is known as the angel of purity. With short white hair, long white wings, and red eyes, Nase is a female angel. Over her head, she has a halo and wears invisible-like clothes with gold edges on them. To know who will be the next god, the candidates are given three abilities by their angels, wings, red arrows, and white arrows. Wings of Freedom allows the user to travel at a speed that the human eye can't track to any place in the world. It also the only way to counter the arrows. Red arrows also count love, make a person for 33 days fall in love with the piercer. The victim will want to please the piercer, and most orders will be followed. The victim will say things that will fit the user's point of view, instead of speaking their mind. White arrows, on the other hand, can only be given by special rank angels, and can instantly kill a person. In the key visual poster, we can see that Mirai with Nase behind him is displaying a red arrow. It looks like the art style that Signal MD is aiming for is similar to Death Note or Tokyo Ghoul, but with a modern touch. There has been no news as to who will be voicing the characters as well as their official opening song. Platinum End does approach the view of God in a somewhat cynical view and emphasizes a philosophical atmosphere in how they represent the world building. They also do not shy away from showing dark and disturbing scenes in the manga that may be difficult to watch for sensitive individuals. These include actions such as abuse all the way to suicide. Expectations for the series are high especially that it will be compared to Death Note, and how popular that series has become, especially in Western media. Platinum End also takes inspiration from Death Note, and is the third work of Takashi Obata and Tsugimi Oba. The series is also expected to give rise to the forgotten love for thriller anime. 
The Platinum End manga has not been that praised by fans that much, and it's mostly due to weak character writing according to sources. It does, however, get recognized because of the amazing art and compelling story. Let's hope that they put a little bit of more work on the characters in the anime adaptation to lift up the fan spirits, and it's a little too early to judge the series in its entirely. At the end of the day, the upcoming Platinum End series seems to be catching a lot of attention, and we'll look forward to its release in Fall 2020. If you like deathmatches and go to back to the gold old days of thriller anime, then keep an eye out for this show. Hopefully, this video helped you out guys. Before you keep and going on with your day, here are some more great videos for you to watch. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, well, now is the right time to do so. See you soon. Bye bye.